Hello doctors, good evening. Welcome to Career360. The neat PG results have just been announced. You know, they, last year also the same thing happened that they declare the results about a fortnight before what they gave is the date by which they will declare. Even this time around, they said they will declare the result by September 3rd, but we have the result today as of August 19th, which is a fortnight before that. The results are declared. Now, what we're about to show you is the kind of scores that were there, what kind of ranks you're getting. Of course, you have the ranks in your hand. And for that rank, what kind of branches and which kind of colleges are you likely to get admission into? We also have a phone number here. If you have any question, just send a message saying hi, and we'll be more than happy to help you out to you know, cover out your own path and getting into the best college path possible. But first, let us go through the kind of cutoffs that are there and the kind of college you're likely to get based on the score and the rank and the college that you're getting into, also along with the branches that are possible. Let's understand the overall data at this point in time. The overall data set is this, that the total registered candidates is 2.42 lakh and the total appeared candidates is 2.3 lakh. If you compare it with 2023, it's about 15% jump. Plus 15% is what you have from 2 lakh, that appeared candidates have become 2.3 lakh, right? Now with that, which essentially means you have 15% more competition. What is the 50th percentile, which is what the qualification mark is? For NEET PG, we all know that 50th percentile, this is out of 800. This time it is 276. Last year it was 291. So the papers seem to have become slightly more, whatever, or the candidate profile has come down, but the marks have fallen by about 15 marks. Right, and that is reflected across the board. For general PWD, it's 255. And for SCST OPC, it's 235. Right, so across the board, you've seen that the marks have fallen by about 15, 20 marks across the board. And obviously, this will be reflective of the kind of rank that you're likely to get based on this. Now, let us understand the kind of scores that you have and the kind of rank you're likely to get. You know, as I told you, 707 is a topper. He, the 707 student got the first rank. At 650, you're getting a rank of 300, between 268 and 300. At 600, you're getting a rank of about 29 to close to 3000. At 550, you're getting 11,000 to 11,300. At 500, you're getting 24,000 to 25,000. Now that this thing is, and I'm talking of an exact score, by the way. So the number of students who are between this is the number of students who are there. Actually, 400 students have got a score of 500. That's what it, it means, right? And they actually have a ranking uh, a hierarchy, and which is how it happens. What you must remember at this point in time is that in government college, you have about 27,000 seats. And private college, you have 22,000 seats. Give or take a few hundreds, right? Now which essentially means your chances of getting into a government college get exhausted between 550 and 500. If you take away the you know, reservation and all, you're left with about 13, 14,000 seats here. So you'll exhaust here for a clinical, you know, a choice of your thing, right? But it would not cross below 500. Idea, you know, the way it is looking, anything below 530, 540 marks, it's a very, very difficult chance for you to get into a public institution because your rank is likely to be 15,000 plus. And if you take the unreserved general category of the 27,000 seats that you are in public institutions, about 50, 12, 13, 14,000 seats is what you have for general category. So essentially what we're talking of is at a 540 score, your chances of getting into a public institution come down dramatically. But private is an open case, remember that. Private is an open case, right? But going further down, at 400 marks, you get, like getting a seat, uh, you know, rank of 60,000. At 450, you're getting a rank of 41,500. At 300, you're getting a rank of 2,000. And anything below that, at 274, it is unqualified. You know that at this point in time. But last year, it the 50th percentile was brought down to 15th percentile, and it has further brought down to 5th percentile because many of the private medical colleges could not fill in the seats, and they had to keep bringing down the qualification. So that is still a chance for many candidates like who are not qualified, who did not get the 274, there is still a big chance out there. Because every year, 23 also it happened, 24 also it happened, and I do expect that in 25 also it will continue. But at this point in time, for our sake, 276 is the closing mark, and that is a qualifying mark, and anything below that is unqualified, but you'll still get a seat somewhere if you're willing to pay for the private college fees. Public institutions, which is what we are, about 27,000 seats. And that's what we're talking of, of which about 12, 13, 14,000 would be unreserved seats. What we're now talking about is at what rank, what are the colleges? And we're giving an example, by the way, it's an exhaustive list. We're not reproducing the exhaustive list. 
if you want to talk to us just send a message across to us and the counselor will call you up but the broad understanding for us is at a score of 650 right where your rank is 260 to 300 you're likely to get the chance of radio diagnosis and general medicine in top government colleges the kind of college you like to get is uh, the government medical college in uh, nagpur the topiwala national medical college in mumbai the bj medical college ahmedabad topiwala again mysore medical college mysore ims bhu king george so you are likely to get in most of the government medical colleges the radio diagnosis and general medicine if your rank is up to 300 which is the score of 650 you further go down and go to another cluster right we talk of 600 score where the rank is about 3000 right here the chances of branches like dermatology general medicine general surgery pediatrics psychiatry tbrd orthopedics and in government is possible but radio diagnosis is possibly a difficult thing right but the tough chances in as i said in radio diagnosis but in private medical college for sure you will get radio diagnosis and general medicine and everything also with that kind of a rank because you're a topper still remember that i gave you a couple of colleges as an example you're likely to get these kind of branches dermatology leprosy general medicine and all right and same thing in deem universities you know kalinga and branch name radio diagnosis is coming if you see here very closely in private you're getting radio diagnosis but here you're not getting that by the way again i'm saying this is not an exhaustive list i'm only showing you examples i'm just leading you there at a score of 550 your rank is about 11000 right and the chances for branches like an anesthesia ent optha radiotherapy pathology emergency medicine in government college is possible and good chances for top clinical in deemed universities even you'll get radio diagnosis or even general medicine because rank is still good enough here at 11,000 rank is good enough and you'll get that and which is what you're showing in government medical college you're getting radiotherapy and general surgery but the moment you come down to deemed universities you're getting radio diagnosis and dermatology and everything that you want so that is at a rank of 11,000 again i'm repeating this is not an exhaustive list we're just giving you examples if you need more clarification just send us a message and someone will call you up and you can chat up with them now the next thing is a score of 500 you're likely to get a rank of about 24,500. and the chances for obgy gynec, gynec general medicine pediatrics and in dean colleges is very clearly possible and chances for non-clinical branches like microbiology pathology forensic science etc are possible even in government colleges even at the rank of 24,000 because these branches are not as preferred as the other two branches which are clinical branches then we have the score I've taken a score of 450 where the, your rank would be 41,000 to about 41,000 here you will still get pathology anatomy community medicine social all these things in government colleges but Branches like dermatology, general surgery, or all these things will you will also get in deem universities. And we just given you a couple of examples for you to understand. At 400 score, your rank is about 60,000. And here you will get uh, you know clinical branches like microbiology, forensic medicine, etc., etc. In, in government medical colleges. But chance of branches like general surgery, ENT, in some good deem universities also are possible. We gave you examples here. And by the way, all this we are taking based on the last year's cutoffs. Remember that. And when you have a lower level branch, you might get into a government medical college, but the chance, if you want a branch of your choice and a college of your choice, that becomes difficult as you keep going down the ladder. In all, in India, we have over 50,000 PG seats and 2,30,000 applicants. That's what you must remember. So the competition is 1 is to 4.6 and everything falls from there. Then at 300, we have, and this is the last of the slides that we have, where the rank would be about 1 lakh 2,000. The chances for branches like anatomy and physiology and government college is possible. The chances for branches like ortho, pathology or in deemed university is also possible. And we've given you a small list of things. But my simple thing is this, at this point in time, what you must do is go and use the college predictor. Understand what you try to get into. The college predictor has exact data based on last year's data. The number of seats for this current year have not been announced yet. We we'll likely to get it over a couple of days and we'll update that also. But it doesn't move much because the number of seats don't get added massively. The ranks are there with you, the scores are there with you, the ranks are there with you. And if you use the college predictor, you'll get a broad guideline of what college, which branch and in which round you're likely to get that. Once you know that, then you can make a plan of trying to understand how you can go about this entire process to get a college which is slightly better than what you're currently getting based on the college predictor and that is when counselors come in and one last thing i'll tell you please don't approach agents agents most of the times mislead they missell 
we have lots of complaints of agents taking money and walking away or you know misselling where they promise certain things which are li least likely to happen because all these things happen out of a common counseling ground and a counselor with integrity would always work for you so reach out to a proper career counselor they will help you far better than going to an agent who's collecting money from the college for something and they will promise you will not sell it to you but they may not even return the money back to you uh, you know what i my simple thing is go use a college creator if you have any questions please chat up with us the phone number is there just send a message and someone will call you up and they'll chat up with you and if you still need more information our counselors are waiting to help you get into the best college possible thank you so much namaste